Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. Prior to e-filing actual data for the first time, a test file needs to be submitted and approved by the IRS. Once the file is transmitted and accepted, you will call the IRS and they will move your transmitter control code from the test system to the production system. Requirements include a transmitter control code and Internet Explorer 8. For more information, please review the IRS Revenue Codes, Sections 6055 and 6056. To get started, open the 1099 ETC program. At the main menu, select the ACA Filer. Highlight the pair, ABC Payroll, and click OK. Click eFile. Select, Generate, Air. Communications test file. Enter the transmitter information. Click OK. This screen will list the information that you will need to upload the test files using the IRS's AIR system. It shows the directory where the files are created and the file names. Remember that there are two files that need to be uploaded. When uploading the files, you must make sure to upload the test data file with the corresponding test manifest file. We recommend that you print the summary and have it available when you upload the files. Once the files are uploaded and the transmission is confirmed, a receipt ID will be assigned. Once the transmission is accepted, you will call the IRS at 1-866-937-4130 with the receipt ID and the transmitter control code. The IRS will verify the accepted status and move the transmitter control code from the test system to the production system. Click Yes to continue. On the IRS website, find the UI Channel Link section and select Air UI Channel Login, AATS Testing. Enter the login information. The login information was set up when the test file was submitted. Click Login. To upload the files, select Upload ACA Forms in Box A. You need to upload both the data file and the manifest file. The file location and name was listed on the summary when the files were created. Make sure to select the corresponding manifest file for the data file or an error will occur. When the correct files are selected, click Transmit. Please note that when transmit is clicked the transmission cannot be cancelled. Once the transmission is confirmed, a receipt ID is assigned. It is very important to remember the receipt ID. This receipt ID is required when checking the status of the transmission. The files have been uploaded to the IRS. To check the transmission status of the file, on the IRS website, find the UI channel link box and select UI Channel Login, AATS, Testing. Enter in your username and password. Click Login. Select B and click Check Transmission Status. Enter in your transmitter control code and the receipt ID and click Find. If the transmission has an accepted status, you will need to call the IRS at 1-866-937-4130. They will verify that the transmission was accepted for that receipt ID and then move the transmitter control code from the test to the production system. For further information on the transmission or the transmission status, please contact the IRS. For further assistance, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Or please refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email. Fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 etc. program. Have a great day.